Hi, so this problem is somewhat different from the rest that it is really derivation of a heat conduction equation and um, we want to do this in spherical coordinate that we haven't done uh, in the past. We will kind of try to follow the, uh, the same template. So first we will try to define or formulate the problem uh, thinking about what are we solving for and the schematic and, and assumptions and so on. So first, what are we trying to find? Um, we want to find the differential equation. We want to find the differential, derive the differential equation that describes temperature as function of radius and time. So it's going to be a partial differential equation because it's a function of both radius and Hi. Right. Next, we're going to do the schematic. And then we are going to heavily depend on analogy. You know, problem solving, we often um, use analogy. What else have we done that is similar to what we are asked to do? So we certainly have derived governing equation in Cartesian and in, in cylindrical coordinate. So the cylindrical one uh, is probably closer to this, this one. And in the cylindrical one, we had the cylindrical annulus over which we did energy balance. So perhaps uh, for a sphere, so the sphere kind of uh, is looking like that. This is the entire sphere. But within that, we're going to do this control volume. And, um, and then we are going to do energy balance over this control volume. So energy heat is conducted into the inside of this control volume, which is a spherical shell. And then energy is conducted out of the spherical shell. Um, and, and just like here, we had a thickness of delta R. Here also we have a thickness of delta R. And we had some heat generation in this volume. So here also there is heat generation in the volume. Finally, we want to make sure we realize what the assumptions here are. Um, in, in making this derivation because whatever we derive is going to have the restrictions that we make here. So the assumptions are first is we are ignoring heat in the theta and the phi direction. So let's, let's look at that. So this is my theta direction and the other angular direction that I can draw is the phi direction, OK? So we are ignoring conduction in theta direction. What does that mean? It means temperature does not change along uh, this direction. If temperature does not change, then by Fourier's law, there cannot be heat, uh, heat flux because heat flux is proportional to temperature gradient. So we are ignoring heat conduction. That's, it, the, you know, it's not like we are free to ignore any time. But there are situations where, indeed, this is true, that the temperature does not vary in this direction. And that's when our equation that we're about to derive is going to be valid. The other uh, assumption is the properties, like thermal conductivity, density, and specific heat. They don't change from location to location or with time. 